Welcome to our tech. Today we're going to talk about Victron's line of Blue Smart Chargers. These chargers are really versatile tools that I think every electrician should have in their toolkit. They're also really advantageous for end users to keep either as a quick charging tool or to have something hardwired into their system. The main ones that we're going to be talking about today are the IP22, the IP65 and the IP67. The main differences between these three chargers is going to be that IP rating. So obviously as you step up in that scale you're going to get more protection from the elements. So starting with the IP22, that's going to offer the least amount of protection. One of the advantages on the IP22 is that it typically comes at a higher amperage rating and it can also charge multiple banks. So for example, right here we have a 12, 15, 1 channel output, which means that it would charge a 12 volt bank at 15 amps and it's capable of charging one bank. All of these items are also Bluetooth enabled, meaning that you can either use them as a power supply or you can use them as a charger, which is why they're such versatile tools to have. The IP22 is hardwired into the system, which means that obviously you won't be quickly disconnecting it and whatnot and using it for a variety of applications, but they're still a really good charger to have installed. Moving on from the IP22, we're moving over to the IP65, which is probably our most used charger. These are really versatile. Much like the IP22, they're also Bluetooth enabled. They come in a 12 and a 24 volt variant, same as the IP22. The main difference here is that they're not going to be hardwired, and so they've got a quick connect system on them, which allows you to either have, let's say, MA ring terminals hardwired in with that quick connect, so you can quickly disconnect from, say, a battery or whatnot, or they come with alligator clips as well so that you can quickly attach to something and revive that battery. Much like the IP22, these also have a power supply mode or a charger. All three of these can also be used for lead or lithium composites, which is really handy. They've got a reconditioning feature on there, which is really nice for those lead composites. But yeah, once again, the IP65 is going to be probably our most used charger. When we run into situations where we have a low voltage scenario and we need to recover batteries safely, the IP65 is our go-to, unless it's a large bank and then you know you can add several of those in or you can you know add in the IP22 or whatnot. Personally at our shop we have quick connections on all of our work vehicles. I've got a quick connection on my motorbike and so the you know when those inevitably need to be maintained then it's a really easy process just to add that on. Lastly, in the Blue Smart Charger range, we have the IP67, which is going to offer the most amount of protection from the elements. On the casing, it actually states that it is rainproof, and so you can abuse these much more than the others, and it's a really versatile, hardwired solution in. To recap, these are Victron's line of Blue Smart Chargers, ranging from the IP22, which would offer the least amount of protection, but offers the other advantages of multiple banks and slightly higher amperage. The IP65, which is the most versatile, offers good protection to the elements, and can be used in a variety of different applications. And then the IP67, which offers the most amount of protection, is hardwired and would definitely be the one that you want to pick if you're permanently installing in harsh environments. Thanks for following along today, talking about Victron's line of Blue Smart Chargers. If you have any questions, please reach out to our staff. And as always, we'll put all of the appropriate links in the description below.